Okay, today's topic we look at the tangent and the diameter and the learning objective is to use tangent and diameter to find the sizes of the angle. And these are the keywords we have. So before we can solve this, the student must know that the, the sum of angle in the triangle is 180 and the sum of angles in quadratra is uh, 360. Okay, let's look at this tangent. We say that a tangent is a straight line a straight line that touches the a circle at one point and this point is what we call the point of contact so when you have a circle and there's a straight line that touches the circle at the point that straight line is what we call the tangent and the tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of contact so if we have a tangent and there's a line from the center of the circle to the tangent it is perpendicular to the uh, to the point of contact, the particular point of contact. I know that this point here is what we call the 90 degree. Okay. The other thing we have to note is for the diameter. We say that a diameter is just a straight line that, that crosses or cut a circle into two equal parts. So here is a semicircle. This side is a semicircle. And when we have, okay, look at this says every angle are the circumferences of a semicircle that is suspended by the diameter of the semicircle is a right angle. So if we have a circle, here is a semicircle, here is a semicircle, and there is a line from the point to these circumferences, this angle here must be what a right angle. And this angle here also represents a right angle okay now let's solve a question on that in this case we say in the diagram ap and the bp are tangent to the circle with center zero we are asked to find the value of x now for us to find the value of x first of all you need to note that since that says this is the center of the circle and it goes to the point of contact of the tangent that means that here is perpendicular is 90 degree the same thing happen here from year to year this point is a uh, 90 degree and look at we have this to be four-sided uh, uh, shape so since it's four-sided shape it is a quadratra and the total sum of a quadratra is 360 so we have this to be that x plus 90 this is 90 this is 90 plus 90 plus 70 is equal to 360 sum of angle of the quadratra okay so we have here to be x plus so let's check 90 plus 90 plus 70 we have 90 plus 90 plus 70 that gives us a 250 so we have this to be 250 is equal to 360 so if we subtract 250 from both sides we have 360 minus 250 so 360 minus 250 will give us what 110 degree and this is the value of uh, x okay now let's quickly go to the another question here we are asked to find the value of x and then uh, y we are this point is the center of the circle zero okay so for us to find the value of x and y first of all since here is the center of the circle from this center of circle to this point is what that gives us what for this center of the circle to this point is the radius for the center of the circle to this point is the radius that means that this side must be equal to this side equal to that and since they are equal this angle here also must be equal to y okay now let's look at the big angle in the big angle there we have that since this is perpendicular to the tangent that means that here must be equal to 90 degree so since here is equal to 90 degree i can have this angle plus this angle plus this angle here is 360 is 180 degree sum of angle of a triangle so we have this to be that uh, 2x plus x plus 90 degree this is 90 degree is equal to what 180 that is the sum of angle of a triangle so we have this to be 
3x plus 90 is equal to 180 degree so we have 3x is equal to subtract 180 from both sides we have 90 180 minus 90 subtract 90 from both sides 180 minus 90 gives us what 90 degree okay what next we have we divide both sides by 3 so 90 divided by 3 this is uh, x and uh, 90 divided by 3 gives us what that gives us 30 okay so x is equal to 30 degree so since x is equal to 30 degree we can find y so how do we find y here we know that x is 30 degree that means this angle here must be equal to what 60 degree you see that 30 times 60 now since this angle are the same base angle of a set triangle we have this plus this plus this is equal to 180 degree okay so that gives us that uh, 60 plus y plus y is equal to 180 degree okay so y plus y is a uh, 2y equal to 180 degree so we have 2y is equal to 180 degree minus uh, 60 so when you minus 660 what do you have 180 minus 60 we have that to be what 120 okay so we divide both sides by 2 so 120 divided by 2 we have that y is equal to what 60 degree so y there is equal to 60 degree you can see that 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180 degree okay now the next question says in this point we are asked to find the value of x and y the diagram show a tangent to a circle with center zero find the value of x and y so if you are asked to find the value of x and y first of all what you need to consider here first is that you look at this this is the center of the circle to the circumference is a radius this center of circle to the circumference is a radius that means that this length is equal to this length uh, and then uh, this angle here must be equal to this angle base angle of a straight triangle okay now next you have to look at is that at this point from the center to the point of contact of the tangent make angle of a 90 degree so since this is angle of 90 degree we can have that 90 from here to here is 90 so 90 minus this side we give us the remaining part that is x that means that we have what we have or uh, i can say x plus this is equal to 90. so we can have x plus 78 is equal to 90 because here is 90 degree so x plus this cos 90 so x gives us 90 minus uh, 78 <coughs> so we have 90 minus uh, 78 what do you think it gives us okay that gives us 12 so x is what 12 the value of x is 12 so since i have that the value of x is 12 that means that since here is 12 here also must be 12 and this plus this plus this is 180 degree so we have that uh, x plus x plus y that is y plus x is 12 plus x is 12 is equal to 180 degree so 12 plus 12 is 24 is equal to 180 degree so we have this to be that the uh, y subtract 24 from both sides we have 180 minus 24 what do you have check 180 minus 24 we have what we have 156 okay so my y is 156 degree and this is the value of what y okay now let's look at the last question here in this point we are asked to find x and y as well and the diagram shows a tangent to a circle with center zero find the value of x 
and then y so to find the value of x and y first since here is the center of the circle from here to here is radius from here to here is radius this is equal to this so we have a straight triangle that means that this angle here must be equal to this angle here note that first okay now let's look at another way how can we find our x or how can we find our y in this point we know that for me to find the x first x is on a straight line i have that since here is 31 here also must be 31 that gives us base angle of a straight triangle so if i name here any letter to find my one maybe i have here to be n that means this plus this plus n is 180. so when i find n i have n plus x is angle on a straight line okay let's solve we have this to be n plus 31 plus 31 is equal to what 180 okay so n gives us 31 plus 31 is what 31 plus 31 is uh, 62 is equal to 180 so if i subtract 62 from both sides we have what subtract 62 from both sides we have 180 minus uh, 62 that gives us what we have that to be 118 so since here is 118 that means my n is 118 so 118 plus x is 180 huh that means 118 plus x is 180 angle on a straight line that gives us angle on a straight line so we have x is equal to subtract 118 from both sides we have x to be 180 minus 118 it gives us what 180 minus 118 what do you have as the answer 62 so x is a uh, 62 degree that's the value of x now for me to find the value of y since here is x and this point is a point of contact from the tangent and the center of the circle here is 90 degree don't forget that so this point now gives me 90 plus x plus y is 180 sum of angle of a triangle okay so we have an x here is 62 so here is 62 already so we have y plus 62 plus 90 is equal to 180 degree so sum it uh, 62 plus 90 gives us what okay 152 so this gives us one gives us 152 is equal to so if i subtract 152 from both sides what do we have so check Uh, 180 minus 152 that gives us what 28 so my y value is equal to 28 degree so that is how we solve the question for a tangent